And this is going to be causing havoc today, I can already tell. Apart from the sun and the planes, we're good to go. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with part two of the Office Declutter and Makeover series for you. In case you missed part one, that was where I concentrated more on the declutter side of things because well, as you'll see, or as you'll know if you've seen the video already, this uh, room was in a right old mess, so I've had to give everything a good sort out. But now we've managed to kind of tidy it up a bit, I'm ready to start introducing some decor, which I am very excited about. So today we're going to be concentrating on the walls. I'm going to be hanging up some artwork, and I'll also be hanging the mirror that I painted as well. And this video is in partnership with Decenio. In case you haven't come across them before, they are an online company that that sell posters and prints for your home. They have hundreds and hundreds to choose from. I really struggled to actually pick out the ones for this space because there's so many on there. But they've got things for every taste and they will send them to your door rolled up in a tube and you can also buy the frames on there as well. So really handy and pretty much I would say something on there for everybody. So I'm going to start by showing you all of the ones that I picked out and then we're going to introduce some other things that I've already got and figure out kind of how we're going to hang them within the room to make either a bit of a gallery wall or I might dot them around a little bit. I'm not sure. As usual, we're making it up as we go along. So thank you very much to Decenio for sponsoring this video and they've very kindly given me a discount code for you. If you would like to order any prints from them, you can get 25% off using the code Mr. Carrington, and that is valid today, the 3rd of April, Lily said the wrong month, and it's also valid tomorrow, the 4th of April as well. So hopefully that's useful to you if any of these prints inspire you and you'd like to order any for yourself for your own place. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week, and don't forget you can catch me over on Instagram as well. My main account is Mr. Carrington, and I've got my home account as well, which is Mr. Carrington Home, and I'd love to see you over there too. Quick sip of the coffee which matches the cushion, not deliberate, but I'm pleased about that. And let's start looking at the prints. So the first one that I chose, I popped these into the frames already, which was probably a silly thing to do because we're gonna have reflections, aren't we? But um, we'll try our best to <laughs> show you them without um, too many reflections. So this is the first one that I went for. I bet you're thinking, of course you did, it's a plant. And I know I'm a bit predictable, but I couldn't resist this one. Yeah, I really love this big leaf print design. And see what you think as I show you these. I think I've tied them all together all right, but they're all quite different. Um, yeah, just see what you think as we go through them. And I framed this one in a metal IKEA frame that I picked up at a tabletop sale. You may remember that was, I think that was last summer, and I showed that in a haul, and it's just been sitting around ever since. These frames are called Stromby, um, in case you're interested. So I just checked the sizes when I ordered and figured out what frames I already had lying around. So you can do that if you've got some frames already. Maybe you've got some frames with prints in that you want to switch out. You can just measure the frames and then buy the corresponding size of the prints you like because the good thing about the prints that they sell is they come in all the different sizes going from like the huge poster size right the way down I think to like a postcard size so yeah you could make use of the frames that you've already got in the same size I picked up this one this is pampas grass and I just like this image because I thought it's really quite relaxing that's why I liked it. So I thought it'd be quite nice to have some prints in here that kind of feel relaxing. Obviously it is kind of a workspace, but there is now the day bed in here as well. So just a nice thing to um, catch your eye, I think. This is just a nice bit of um, typography. We've got the and sign here and it's kind of in a marble effect. So this is a slightly smaller size. Again, I had the frame already. I picked up these frames. I think they were at another, was it a car boot or charity shop? And I got these for a steal, but originally um, cheap and cheerful IKEA frames. This one says, live more, worry less, and it's got, there's kind of like a leaf print within the font. And that is something that I am aiming to do. Definitely, I think I'm good at living, <laughs> but I'm not good at not worrying. I worry a lot. So um, that is just a little reminder to stop worrying just stop worrying. <laughs> and now we're gonna take a look at some bigger ones. So I've got the box here. This is what they all came in, just to give you an idea of how they were delivered. 
So yeah, here's the box. Again, I've already framed these ones because I thought it would be a bit of a faff to kind of show you on camera the framing process. And the framing was straightforward. And this one is in a frame from Decenio. The frames that they do are plastic um, here, not glass. They do feel a little bit lightweight compared to other picture frames, but I guess that's a good thing when you're hanging them because potentially you could hang them with command strips if you're in a rental property or if you just don't want to damage your walls. Or also you could maybe just pop a nail into a wall if it was plasterboard and not have to worry about drilling and wall plugs and things like that that you do with heavier frames. And then the last one that I've got to show you is this forest scene. Let's get it out of the box. And I'm going to struggle with the reflection, so we might have to have a look at this one once it's on the wall and I'll be able to show you a little bit better. But essentially it's a forest scene. I really like the greeny colours. Switch the lamp off. Um, no, you still can't see. <laughs> a little tip for you, when you take the paper out that's inside the frames, you can always hang on to it. So you see it's got the piece of paper that was inside. You can take that out and then you can use some blue tack to place these on the wall to figure out where you want to put them. And you can even lie this on the back of the frame and just rub a pencil over the hook so you know exactly where the hook's going to be on this. And then you can put this on the wall and then you can drill through the mark where the hook is so you know exactly where to put your nail or your screw in the wall. I've also got a box here full of various kind of prints or things that I was hoping to DIY and haven't done yet. I've got a few picture frames that I picked up in Poundland. I've got various bits in here. This is a picture frame that I picked up from H&M that you may remember. And I've also got the um, gallery wall template kit from Poundland as well that um, you may remember too. So that might come in handy. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. I might just wing it as usual. Um, but now we're going to get on and hang some of these prints up. Okay, so I'm going to start with this wall over here. So I'm going to go first of all with the big one, I think above the computer. So I'm going to use the um, inside sheet of paper, like I said. I've already marked on where the nails should go, so that will give me a guide. I'm just going to mask and tape it onto the wall and then I'll eyeball it and use the spirit level just to make sure that it's straight. Another little tip you can use is one of these weights on a string that usually you'd use for wallpapering, but you can just hang it on the side of your piece of paper on the wall and just check that the string hangs down straight and gravity will let you know if you've got a straight line. So I'm just going to hang it on the top here and we can check to see if that lines up. If it falls naturally in a straight line, then you know you've got it. So now that's all straight, I'm going to mark through the uh, post where I put the holes, and then we'll just bang the nails in and hang the first one. Remember to use a wire pipe and stub detector just to check you're not going to be banging a nail through the pipe because we don't want any leaks. The last thing we want. There are many ways that you can introduce some art onto your walls. You could use some wrapping paper, you could pull prints out of magazines. There's often great little images in magazines that you could turn into a print. And you can pick up frames really cheaply. This one here is from Poundland. Okay, I think that is that wall done. So these are all up. And yeah, I think the lining ups kind of work quite nicely. And I've just propped these two in here for now. They're gonna move, but yeah, I've just propped them for the time being. And I've just put here the Poundland DIY on the back of the door, which I think works really nicely. I've just hung it over the hook and it has got a couple of hooks on it as well. So that video is on my channel if you're interested, kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, mirror hook combination. And then I've hung into this planter, this um, plastic trailing plant I got from Tiger. Just thought it looked quite nice um, there for the time being. And next up, we're going to hang the big mirror. There's actually already a screw in the wall, so I'm gonna utilize that one. And then we can peel all the tape off, which I'm looking forward to.
Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a day for today. We've got the pictures hung up. The mirror is now on the wall, which is bringing loads of light into the room. So I'm really pleased with how that's looking. And then I'll be back very soon with a part three of the Office Declutter Makeover series. And in that one, we'll be introducing all the bits of decor and putting all the finishing touches to the space. So I'm really excited for that one. So do hit subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss it. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for popping back for this video. It's great to have you here as always. Let me know in the comments down below which of the prints was your favourite. And don't forget that you can get 25% off any prints on their website today, the 3rd of April, and tomorrow, the 4th of April, using the code Mr. Carrington. Give this video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. The planes have got really noisy. There's definitely been a flight path change at a tabletop. Oh, I'm struggling today, sorry. Some coffee. And again, that one is in an IKEA frame, as is this one. It's got hair on the front, sorry. Get off. Get off. Get off. <laughs> It may remind you if you watched the previous video of the screen that I've got. Oh, I think one of the things just popped out of the back. Oh. <laughs>